It's Friday. Hello, everybody. It's Friday. Or, in other words, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Busy bubbles. It is that time. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Miss Rochelle. Hello, Miss Joyce. How's the ankle? <sighs> Hi, Miss Angel. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday, everybody. Hi, Miss Dana. Miss Sue Ann. Welcome. Oh, hi, Miss Bev. Yes. Got exciting news today. Hello again, Miss Janelle. It was great to see you in class today, you and Miss Sharon. I'm good. I spent today in the classroom. Uh, we, I taught today, well, I use teach as a light word. Today's stripology um, session, stripology class, it was a beginner project. It's real laid back. It was, it was nice. We had a good, peaceful class today. Everybody socialized. We had lunch. All sorts of guys. It was an, a no, no sweat class. Oh, thank you. My, my perfect quilt. Yes, we have kits for this available on the website called Perfection. Hello, Miss Sharon, Miss Pamela. Welcome, everybody. Oh, it's good to hear Miss Joyce. Hello, Miss Linda. You have the weather I want. I will tell you hello from the warm Maryland. Okay, first of all, it's ridiculous. Now, I love a good warm weather, ladies and gentlemen. It's been beautiful, 80 degrees yesterday, beautiful. Today wasn't too bad if we could, uh, um, if we could have um, not had the wind. But I just want one, one snow. So let's, just one. I just want one and I don't want it the week of retreat okay if you can't do it between now and like March 5th we're moving on mother nature moving on okay and I'm not gonna count tomorrow as maybe covering the grass as a snow just saying it doesn't count Ugh. I would love it be, I would love to be inside all warm while it was cold and wintry outside, baking some cookies. Yes. Yes, but I just want one. I know, but Miss Angel, Miss Angel says it rarely snows that time of the year. Yes, but you don't know my luck, Miss Angel. <laughs> I don't have good luck at all. So that's okay. Well, hello everybody. We made it another week. It is Friday again. It is, it's been a week. Um, lots going on. We got lots of stuff. We've been busy the last few days, unpacking boxes, restocks, all sorts of things. Uh, we're going to chat here for a second because we can um, go over um, a few things that are happening. How many people have been to the quilt show or are headed to the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Show um, tomorrow or headed home? How was the show? I heard good things about it. Um, I'm not going to get to go, but that's okay. I, I see quilts every day. <laughs> yes, so I heard it was good. But let's... Let me, let me set you up here for a second, because hi again, Miss Pam. Let me uh, not have to hold on to that. <laughs> Gina says she doesn't know about anything until I say something. Sorry, I'll mention the quilt show sooner next year. <laughs> it's always the last weekend. It's always the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Festival in Hampton is always the last weekend in February, typically. But also, who's at QuiltCon? QuiltCon is, they did not plan that very well. QuiltCon is taking place in Atlanta this weekend as well. So we have two back-to-back -back shows happening on the East Coast. 
on the same weekend. Somebody did not check somebody else's calendar. So, um, so yes, got some people in Hampton. We got, oh, day 10. That's right. Daytona is this weekend too. AQS. Yeah, somebody really did not coordinate the look at the like national calendars here. They've got to all talk together, talk better. I forgot Daytona was this week. Did you go, Miss Felice? Um, to Daytona. <laughs> Does my skin look okay, Miss Sharon? Do I need to put on some makeup next time? <laughs> Miss Sharon was in class today, and I told her that. With everybody watching me on big TVs and whatnot, and 4K and whatnot, I think I'm gonna have to do a little more with my uh, skincare and my makeup. Oh, so a couple of things. I was just gonna chill here for a second. I have been been on my feet today. Um, we've had a few. Oh, thank you, everybody. We've had a few restocks. It's, well, actually, let me say, it's been fun this week meeting all my new friends. Miss Marge, Miss, Miss Linda, everybody that came down that was headed to the show from other places here in Maryland that aren't our regulars that chose to stop by and visit. Thank you. It was great to meet some new, some new peeps um, this week as well. Uh, so, yes. Now, let's talk restocks. <laughs> restocking this week OESD has finally um, gotten here <laughs> so stabilizer and isocord threads have been restocked we also got in snappy stackers we got in perfect hole punches Miss Robin are here um, OESD pigtails. I got in needles. I am all ready for tomorrow's day of beginner embroidery. I have a full house tomorrow in the classroom. We're going to learn how to use our embroidery machines. Very, very excited. So everything in the OESD world is back. Magnetic snap hoops from the snap hoop monsters in the maxi hoop size. Um, are back in stock. So Miss Windy P, your maxi hoop is here. Your magnetic maxi hoop is here. Um, if anybody else is looking for your um, magnetic hoop, I have maxi hoops and I think I have a midi, I have maxi and midi hoops in stock. Plus, we still have three K770s. Um, in stock and ready to go home with you and this weekend we've also is the final weekend for the uh as we wrap up national embroidery month this is the final weekend for buy a machine get free embroidery mm -hmm. that's big big savings if you want an embroidery machine this is the, the this is the last weekend that you're gonna get probably one of the best deals I mean, I've never, free embroidery modules, it's massive. So, hello, Miss Kristen. Hello, Miss Kathy. Hello, Miss Tina. Um, the multiple spool holder for the Bernina is um, still currently on back order, but it is still the February promotion of the month. So, if you would like to pre order one at the 25% discount, um, give us a call. And we will um, get one on the request list. We're waiting for um, more to arrive here shortly. Um, let's see that, 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 final weekend of that. OESD is having uh, this week's OESD promotion is from today through March 2nd. Um, it is called Homegrown Happiness. It features the freestanding lace barn structure. It has a uh, collection called Farm Animals. Mary Beth will be here tomorrow. She's going to have a new a new design, a new um, tea towel featuring the pig, the cow, and the chicken from the Farm Animals collection. It's the Jim Shore um, collection. Uh, felt veggies, uh, felt veggie pals, uh, farm fresh line work, is also going to be there as well. These are all 25% off through March 2nd. Be sure to use our links 
would be greatly appreciated as we do earn a small commission. So it is like supporting Material Girls when you use those links. So please. A um, couple of other things before I stand up and walk. Uh, we had a restock in Freylock and Fabric Fuse Glue. Okay. So the E6000 Freylock is like Freycheck. Uh, I like the Freylock over Freycheck because it's a little thicker. It doesn't run. Sometimes Freycheck can be a little too liquid. Hi, Miss Tracy. We hope you're feeling better. Um, so the Freylock is a little more like of a, a thicker glue consistency. And then the Fabric Fuse, the E6000 Fabric Fuse is a great permanent glue um, that I use sometimes the glue binding down with. Um, some of my Annie's bags, if the binding is on the inside of the bag, it's glued. Because usually by the time I get to that point, especially back when I was doing club and I was making two or three of every bag, um, if not four and five, I wanted the inside to be finished, but I don't necessarily always like fussing with that stitching it down so as long as you weren't going to see the binding on the outside of the bag i glue it and i use um the the fabric fuse as my glue of choice um to each his own don't judge but you don't see it from the outside <laughs> so yes so glue is um back the fabric fuse is back and i think uh Gwen used it um, last week for um, the Pockets to Go class. And it's a great glue. Yes, Miss Robin, it's up online. Um, it's also a great glue if you're gluing craft, like felt to felt or fabric to anything. Um, it's That's what it's designed to do is for fabric. Now, while we're talking about Annie's bags, Let's talk for a second. One, I greatly appreciate everybody's votes for the LQS contest. Fabulous. I appreciate it. I love it. I haven't read any of the comments or anything yet, but we appreciate all the votes. Uh, this is the last weekend. If you haven't voted yet, please vote just in case there's a miracle. I don't think we're going to be able to pull out a top five, let alone a number one finish. Uh, we are... I don't know, Gina, we're quite, we're quite a few, <laughs> we are quite a few votes from top, from the number one spot, but that's okay. I'll still, we'll, I'll still do something special. Don't worry. Um, it is, we'll still have a party. Um, cause you know, what better way to have a party because you were in 12th place. We are number one in the state of Maryland. Okay. We are number one in the state of Maryland. So thank you. But, you know, I like being first place. I'm very competitive, if you don't know that about me. Um, but we are overall in 12th. And we are 700 votes from number one. So I don't think it's going to happen for an overall win. But I am appreciative to the votes that we do have. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the fact that we are number one in Maryland. So I can, I think I, can I officially claim that? We are the number one quilt shop in Maryland? I think we can claim it. <laughs> I'm going to claim it. But speaking of Annie's. Annie talked about this this week. Okay. It's not here yet. Okay. This is the Annie's, the, the double-sided basting tape. Um, that is going to be coming in next week. It's not here. Okay. This was sent to me as a, um, promotional try it, uh, package. You can see it's, it's really skinny. So I do have one. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take it to the highest bidder, <laughs> but we will, uh, the Annie's double-sided basting tape will be arriving, uh, probably, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff sitting in the Midwest, uh, with the weather. I have some stuff sitting in Kansas city. Hello, Miss Linda. Um, 
that's been delayed with FedEx coming through a, a hub. So there is, um, it'll be here. If you know what you want, if you'd like me to hold it when it comes in and hold it for you and let you know, please let me um, send us a text, send us an email. I'll put you on the request, request list and we will get you some basting tape. I'll pull it out before it arrives, before it goes out on the floor. So it's not online yet. Uh, so I promise it will be here. It's coming. You know me. I do it all, right? So we will have this basting tape. Annie used this basting tape um, to hold like fold over elastic together. Um, and you are uh, holding, holding down binding and all sorts of things. Um, in that so it's really really skinny so easy to peel because that's always been the hard part is to get the other side off so straps handles anything along that lines this basting tape is here and if you're working on a project and you want to come try it come up come see me tomorrow and I'll give you a piece of this um, it's great with mesh we've used the other uh, wonder tape We've used in the past wonder tape is a little wider um there goes the text phone <laughs> wonder tape's a little wider but speaking of annie's bags and because i see somebody's name here um if you are currently on my pre-order or my reservation list for the k475 machine you'll be getting a call from me next week your machines have shipped so um, they are going to be here sooner than expect expected. So that's exciting. They're going to be here before April. Um, so if you are waiting for a K475, they are on the way. Okay. Now, I think that covers all that I've done here. So let's, let me take one more sip of a fizzy bubble and then we're going to go for a walk. Because now that I've done all that talking, I'm thirsty. All right, because I'm at the front door. Yes, Miss Kathy, that means you. It's a common. Now we have, we're starting to get the next kind of season that's gonna start rolling in here or theme um, is going to be um, patriotic. So there's, uh, this week we received a little bit of patriotic in the first of, uh, of quite a bit. So first up is a collection called Patriotic Picnic. Uh, there's four more bolts to this collection that they misshipped me. They duplicated versus sent me the right ones, but, but there'll be four more bolts coming uh, with this. We'll have stars on uh, another color. There's a, this truck on a dark blue. And I think there's another two other pieces, but there's also a panel. So let me, let me set you down and flip you. So these panels are rectangular, um, patriotic little panels that are there. So you've got the trucks, the dogs. Okay. And that's there. So that has, that came this week. Put that back. The other collection or parts of the other collection that arrived are, is stateside. Okay, stateside is from Sweetwater. We just got a, I just got a few pieces of this collection. This real little American flag. I love the scale of this collection. So it's tiny. We've got, um, this just says the United States of America. Of course, a plaid. We have a listing of all the states and what they are um, kind of known for. And then you have the um, circular stars also coming or coordinating with stateside that came in is um, two new toweling pieces. Um, so let me show you. So 
We have the white with the red trim, and then we have the red with the white trim. So these are 18 inch wide, 100% cotton toweling. So you can, they're already hemmed on two edges. So on the, the length of the towel, it is already hemmed. These don't have to just be towels. You could buy yardage. They can be made into placemats, into pillows, into towels, into aprons, anything that you want. It's 100% cotton and that will work for that. I think I have a pattern maybe back in the sale area. Let me, um, let's walk back here for a second because I'm pretty sure it's back here that has patterns for pillows. Let's see if I can put my fingers on it fast enough and I'm probably not going to be able to and while I'm standing here. While I'm looking, let, let Miss Amy say hello. She'll go ahead and say hello to her little people while she looks for this pattern. So Grady, Layton, Spencer, Miss Violet, Mimi says hello. Um, she'll see everybody this weekend, but Spencer will miss you. I have Emma, Abby, Owen, Ian, and Luke. I have Camden, Aubrey, Alyssa, Ava, Mackenzie. We have Mary Catherine. Miss Amy says hi. Camden, Aubrey, Samuel, Alexander, Daniel, Austin, Luke. I have um, Sage, Leader, Leah, Roland, Cecilia, and Ryder. I think I got everybody. I think. But in doing that, I was unable to do more than one thing at a time. So I still don't, I still don't have the pattern. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's a sale pattern back here called. Oh, thank you. It, the link is there. Um, Gina found it before me. But it's, it's. It's somewhere around here. Who knows? But <laughs> are you good? At, see, Miss Dawn, you memorize the names and you guys will be able to do it without me. You'll be able to help me remember if I uh, forget somebody and you can prompt me uh, <laughs> so I don't forget. So I don't disappoint any little person who's waiting for me to say their name. And if you do have a little person wanting me to say their name, um, just put it in the comment section and Miss Amy will add them to the list. Finally, arriving this arrived this week is the pretty and uh, pretty petals fabric collection. Pretty petals is the collection that you see um, on the Kimberbell pretty and posh zipper pouch. Um, we had a few of the bolts. Sorry for my armpit. Uh, we had a few of the bolts. We now have all the bolts. So um, it's a real small, little tiny flower. We've got a, a an aqua. There's an orange. There's a peach. There is, I think there's seven pieces. There is a pink. There is a... I think there is a, a white with a little gray. There is a beige color. There it is. Called pumice. It's like a tan color. So all the pretty petals fabric bolts are here and um, are ready. If you are wanting to make any of the zipper kits, the zipper pouches like what you see on the image, the Notions set that is the Pretty and Posh embellishment set is currently not available. It is on reorder, but that, I mean, it's not necessary. It just has um, coordinating uh, zipper colors and some tassels. It's not required or they're not special zippers. They're just colored to match other, um, match her pretty petals fabric. We have, oops, let me back up. I walked past it. Um, the book, I didn't talk about it last week because the books came and they went before live at five. <laughs> this book here called Quilts in Bloom. Okay. 
Quilts in Bloom um, has 17 quilts and two quilted projects um, that use pre-cuts, okay? In there, the fabric that's on the cover we don't have. It's an older collection, but they took that fabric, that book, and recolored it into Gingham Fields using the Gingham Fields, the green fabric collection. So if you remember, we have Gingham Fields up to that point. The rest of that's Nantucket, which looks really well with that green too. But they took two projects in that book and recolored them using the Gingham Fields, which I really love that one right there. So if you're looking for a project or inspiration for Gingham Fields, um, we now have the Quilts in Bloom book that work really well with that fabric collection. I'm going to walk over to the embroidery and Bernina room before I show you the last two fabric collections because we have a couple of things over here. Uh, my L8 series owners, I'll get it one second, Dad. We have a, a couple of new things, and I don't know if you've seen them. One, we now have foot number C23. C23 for the L890 is a curve presser foot, okay? Um, designed to help you easily overlock corners, round corners, okay? We also have the upper accessory holder and the tape guide. You need both of the, you can't use the tape guide without the upper accessory holder, okay? Um, both of those are now available for the L8. And also coming at the beginning of next week will be the brand new extra large piping um, presser foot for the L8 series as well. So that is coming, but the rest of them are here. We have also many of you, so that's in the world of Bernina. Cross it off my list so I, I make note that I, I spoke about it. <laughs> uh, talking about quilting and embroidery. We all love quilting with our embroidery machines and we're all probably, maybe not all, most of you if you've been around here for a while know about the edge to edge quilting uh, system that we use from Amelie Scott. Okay, so she was probably like the first one to really develop. I mean, we've done it for a long time, but she was probably the <clears throat> first one to really develop designs specifically with the intent of connecting the, the designs from left to right so they look like they came off of a long arm. Well, she has come back to, <clears throat> she has a new book. Okay, called Edge to Edge Pro. They just arrived this week. So Edge to Edge Pro allows you to resize the designs. Okay, I'm not super educated in it yet. We're getting there. I have to have a little more time to be able to play before I teach a class in it or talk educated in it, or for lack of better words, talk smartly about it. But <clears throat> the book as well as the first expansion pack of designs that are uh, meant for that particular book. So Edge to Edge Pro is, um, they have a different set of expan different set of designs. So you, you're not going to be able to take your, from what I'm understanding, the original Edge to Edge designs and do this Edge to Edge Pro technique with it. But <clears throat> I could be wrong, but that was my, my understanding in our um, Zoom call. But that is there. So if you are liking that concept and want to do more of like the 
custom quilting that she does with her machine in terms of putting designs for borders and things like that. Um, the Edge to Edge Pro may be the choice, the next step in that aspect. Okay. All right. <coughs> Let's walk. We've got two fabric collections to show you. First up is going to be called Into the Wild. This is the one that my hand was on today. Um, it is safari, jungle, wild animal themed. So <clears throat> here it is. We've got this map piece, like the iconic Africa giraffe tree um, image that you see a lot of. We've got these large scale all over animal um, faces. A little piece that my hand was on today. We have another scenic landscape print with all of the animals in it. We have the other iconic African sunset. And then we have a piece that looks like zebra that's there. And then there is a panel as well. This is a one yard panel of all the animals. So you can see, okay. So that's called Into the Wild. There aren't any pre-cuts for this beyond fat quarters and the panel. Um, it's just the, what, six bolts and the panel. So just seven different prints um, in general for this collection. Okay, then get up and walk over here. The other new collection that we received this week is going to be called Sun Showers. Okay, here it is. It's rainbow-esque, okay? What I love about <clears throat> sun showers. Okay. Sun showers. There's not really a, a super main print to sun showers. So let me, let me just show you. You can kind of see if you like those, that rainbow style quilts, you know, that start with one color and gradate into another. This is the perfect line for that. What also is nice about this is there's nothing with a major print in it. So it's all tone on tone, low volume. So it really does graduate um, very nicely. Just a few pieces, you know. So there is Sun Shower um, as well. So I love. I love it. I love that it's, it does that gradated look. What I like about it, it does that gradated look with them not all being the same tone on tone print or the same pattern. You get that, <clears throat> that movement and that texture from them being different prints, but also they change from one to the other very easily. So I um, really, really like that collection. I think this would have worked well today. And I may still make one uh, for today's stripology class. We did st strippy, was it strippy stairways was the pattern that we did out of the um, Mixology 3 book. But I think this would look really, really nice um, with um, a bunch of other low volume, smaller, like newsprint text, uh, black and white, um, backgrounds kind of like if I show you here in the book um, with the sun showers we do have um, layer cakes jelly rolls and charm squares for this collection let me show you so this this was today's um, today's stripology class and so I think that collection would look really cool here with that um, background print a couple of different background background prints oh my goodness we also got in one last thing we got in a new pattern um let me walk over here just a couple copies 
We did get back in stock the Pockets to Go and the Zoe Zip Pattern. So if you were um, here last Friday and saw the class that was going on and you uh, wanted to um, pick up a pattern, we now have the Pockets to Go and the Zoe Zips back in stock. And then the other new pattern that we have is called Tangled. So Tangled uses a jelly roll or a layer cake. And it comes, the pattern comes in five sizes using either jelly rolls, layer cakes, or assorted yardage. So that's new from Cluck Cluck So as well. All right. Um, did I forget anything? Yes, it's almost the end of the month and no, there is not a March newsletter yet. I sorry. I, I really, I was started out so, so good. Miss Dana, I'll pull it. Um, I started out so good at the beginning of the month. I, I fell off the bandwagon, but I will, I'm working on it. We'll get there. So no, you have not missed the March classes yet. They're not there. <laughs> They're still up here. Still up here, but we are, um, we'll get there. I still have a few days. It is only the 23rd, right? 24th? I don't know. 24th. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are open tomorrow, 930 to 3. So if you are in Hampton and heading back home, and I will um, we'll be here. Let's see. Hold on one second question. Uh, Miss Kathleen, I will check. I know I saw it ship. Um, I will go check the mail and if I'll get a tracking, but it has, it's not in my hands yet, but I did see a tracking number come over. Well, I saw a tracking number come over. I don't know if it was for spree, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, <laughs> exactly. So 9.30 to 3 tomorrow, if you are headed back from the Hampton Quilt Show and you want to make sure that you leave in time to see us, we are here till 3 o'clock um, as well. And then for my gals that are in class tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow morning. Make sure that you read your supply list and that you have everything that you need to learn how to embroider. We're not making anything beautiful, but we're going to learn how to be comfortable at hooping and pushing a button. It's been a big week of mastery. This month I've, I've taught a lot of mastery classes this month and it's been fun um, getting back to that. It's been a few years since I've done it. Four years. I feel like I've talked a lot this week. Um, Software Inspirations gals, we meet next Tuesday night for Software Inspirations as a reminder. And I think that's it. Did I forget anything? Does anybody have any questions? Hoops are still on sale. Yes, embroidery hoops are on sale until the end of this month. So you do have a few more days to get 25% off embroidery hoops. Um, <clears throat> that's right, Miss, Miss Dawn. It's the way to do it. You just dove right in. Miss Dawn says she feels like her embroidery mastery was all her Kimberbell events that she took before she got her embroidery machine and has still continues to take them. Yes. Uh, Bernina, hundred that was it the hundred the what is it? The hundred thousand dollar dream studio sweepstakes is still going on, so be sure that you are entering. I think you can enter once a day, um, every day. They have monthly prizes as well as the overall sweepstakes that are there as well. Mom, did I forget anything? Oh, come say hi. I didn't. Come say hi. I did not. That's okay. Come say hi. Hey, girls. Everybody boys, wants to say hi. Men, women. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think she covered it. I do. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe tomorrow if it does decide it wants to do something. But we'll still be here because it won't be enough to keep me from the quilt shop. So, 
I hope um, it got it's got to be a lot of a lot more than a few flakes to keep me from here. I know, yes. it's smart. It could just be a few flakes. I know, <laughs> but I want everybody to have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me here this evening, Miss Anne. Your sh the shamrock should be here on Monday. Oh, thank you, Miss Kathleen. Can you do embroidery with a magnetic hoop? Yes. Does not have to be quilting. It can be regular embroidery. Okay. Yes. So thank you guys. We'll see you all soon. <laughs>